Hi guys, it's Jay from Ayaba's Wind. I am back to do your May 2021 love um, tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio. Um, it's been a minute. Um, if you haven't seen my previous videos, I am a priestess in the Afro-Cuban tradition, so I will be interpreting the cards from an Afro-Cuban spiritualist perspective at times. Um, this reading is called uh, Love Tarot 95 South Flash. So it is designed to be done in under 25 minutes, ideally. Um, and it's only read with one deck, okay? And this is my ode to the South because the South is very dear to me. Um, and so, and this is also an ode to the 80s, okay? You're not going to see any deck like it. I know there's a lot of tarot card readers who have their own decks, that they've published decks and all this, and that's great and wonderful, but there's no deck like this, okay? And so if you start to see um, sayings and phrases on other people's cards, um, I guess you could say imitation is the best flattery, um, but you've seen it here first, okay? So if you like what I'm doing, please like the, the um, video, definitely share and certainly subscribe. You are more than welcome. And if you like a private reading, you can email me at ayabaswind, a W-Y-N-D 999 at gmail.com. So I've already shuffled most of the cards and many of the cards have flown out already. And I did this off camera because I want to have more time for commentary, for speaking, okay? So we'll take, we'll pull a little bit more cards and then we'll get started. And you know, I hate shuffling. I think it's so, um, uh, what do you call it? It's so irritating. I, I just can't take it, but it has to be done or else you're not gonna get the cards, okay? So just give me a couple seconds. Okay. Okay, so let's see. I know there was a couple of cards that came out that flipped. Okay, that flew out. This flipped. Okay. Any other cards? Hmm. Okay. I think that should be it. That should be it, okay. We're on and popping here, let's see. All right, guys. So it's interesting here. Um, this is um, being read with one deck, okay? Um, but the storylines could be kind of similar, okay? And you can um, basically click on your playlist in the detail and um, description in, within the video and see like the running storyline, okay? So the basic premise of this particular reading for Scorpios for May is got my mojo working, muddy waters. I'm going to have all you women under my command. Okay, <laughs> so let's talk about this. This is a spell work card. Y'all know that I don't like the spell work card, but I have to include it in the decks because it is a reality, okay? And so what Spirit is saying um, is that someone is working something, okay? Whether you are masculine or feminine watching this, okay? Someone is doing a root. They're doing something, lighting a candle, um, doing chants, whatever it is, they're working something on someone, okay? And then it says, I'm gonna have all you women under my command. It could be a woman doing this to you. So Scorpio spirit is alerting, uh, alerting you, uh, whether this is you or someone else. Someone is doing a work on you, okay? Um, and Muddy, Muddy Waters was this, you know, um, big blues um, musician um, uh, early on, okay? Um, and so he's about as useless as a screen door on a submarine, okay? So spirit is saying that someone, <laughs> someone in this love story is not good for much of anything but having sex, okay? That's really all, all it is. They could lay it down in the bedroom. <laughs> they could ride you like a, 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 
a wild bull, like someone rides a bull, okay? That don't matter. That's that's superficial because spirit is saying, what else can they do, okay? Yeah, he could fix your pipes, <laughs> okay? But can he fix a screen? Can he fix, can he put up a blind? Can he fix a pipe? <laughs> can he put a picture up on the wall, okay? We know that he can fix you sexually, but what else can this person do for you, okay? And if you are a male watching this um, and you're into females, what else is this female good for? What is she good for, all right? Spirit is saying there's a calm before the storm, okay? So there's a storm brewing on the horizon, and this is almost the equivalent of the tower card. There is something coming, okay? Um, you know, if you ever saw the movie, The Impossible, you got to watch it if you have not seen it. You will be on the edge of your seats, okay? Apocalypto had me that way, okay? The impossible, incredible, incredible movie, okay? So I'll clue you into one scene. The cup, the family, they were visiting. I think she, they were from Australia, but they were working abroad, okay? Um, doctors, whatever. Um, and so they took their family on vacation to Phuket, Maldives, wherever they were in Thailand, exotic resort, outside near the pool playing. All of a sudden, the birds stop, um, you know, chirping. <laughs> the wind stopped blowing or the wind started blowing and then it stopped, okay? And there was like this dead silence. And then all of a sudden, all hell broke loose, okay? And I'm not going to tell you the rest of the story, okay? <laughs> That's for you to go watch that movie. But Spirit is saying... Y'all better be vibrating high. Prayers, meditation, mantras for um, protection. You could say your Om Dum Dur Gaye in a Maha um, uh, mantra for protection. Okay. Or you could say your Om Ayudaye in a Maha. Okay. Those are both powerful um, mantras for protection. Okay. And you can get your mala beads. All right. Um, Right. And so you should definitely have them. If you're like, if you're a subscriber to my channel, you know that I'm always going to be referring to mantras, mala beads in my readings. Okay. Because this is one of the tools to help get you over the hump. This is a tool to empower you. Okay. Um, and so, you know, these, there's 108 beads on this. They range anywhere from $11 to $200, $300. This is a bit on the higher end because it's real, um, it's real turquoise, okay? Um, but anyway, get your little mala beads and you start at the bead that's closest to the tassel, okay? And for your, if you're gonna use the Durga mantra, Om Dum Durga Ye Namaha, Om Dum Durga Ye Namaha, Om Dum Durga Ye Namaha. You go all the way around 108 times. If you don't have your mala beads yet, <laughs> and I know you're gonna order them, um, if you don't have them yet, you can just set your timer for eight to 10 minutes and make it happen, okay? Because something is about to go down, all right? Um, their cornbread is not done in the middle, okay? This is a saying down south. If your cornbread is not cooked in the middle, ain't no good, <laughs> okay? You better do something about that. So this is saying that, that someone is not working with a full set, uh, full set of marbles or a full deck of cards. Like if someone's a little cray cray, they got some, maybe some serious swings or there's something that you may not know about that is brewing with this person, okay? That they could snap, okay? I'm, I'm feeling like someone is covering something up that you don't know about yet, okay? But spirit is saying that someone, you gotta watch for someone because someone could snap or someone could break, you know, uh, mentally, they could, there could be a mental break, all right? The spirit is saying, last night, a DJ saved my life in deep, okay? I love this song, okay? I think it was from the 80s. But anyway, you got all your women all around, all around town, trapped in love with you, turned my, my radio on, and saved from a broken heart, okay? So basically, this is talking about a woman who was just like in love with this guy, she was totally like enamored with him, but he was running around town with this one and that one, okay? And so she turned on the music and music saved her life. So what Spirit is saying is that one, you could be dealing with someone who is not faithful to you, that is running around, okay? In fact, that is the majority moral of that story, of that card. But also too, that music is gonna be your saving grace. 
And you should be playing music that is going to be uplifting. Don't play music where it's going to make you want to slit your wrist. <laughs> okay, please, please play uplifting, inspiring music. Okay, to get you over the hump. All right, but music is definitely going to be critical here. All right. Um, all right. So a wise man listens to his own conscience. Okay. So what spirit is saying, there may be a lot of people in your ear. Okay. Or there may be someone that's trying to influence you. Okay. You know, um, you know, trying to manipulate a situation by using their words to influence you, or maybe using their sex um, as a weapon or as a tool of manip manipulation to manipulate you. This is what spirit is saying. And spirit is saying that you need to connect to spirit. You need to connect to your your God, your your God head. Okay, your sensibility through prayer and through meditation, okay? This is gonna be very important for you because spirit is saying that there's an influence that's trying to creep in and trying to be, uh, uh, how you say, pervasive. It's, it's trying to invade and take over, okay? And spirit is saying, you gotta, you gotta catch this before it gets worse, all right? Um, so you're not a fool, okay? And let's get physical, Olivia Newton-John. There's nothing left to talk about, just horizontal. Mm -hmm. So there is someone where the attraction is off the chain. The sex is just, <laughs> it's off the Richter scale. And you know, the Richter scale measures the, the, um, the magnitudes of earthquakes. Okay. And so this is, it's, it's like insane. The sex is insane. Okay. Which is great. <laughs> you know, good sex. That's great. Okay. But what else is there? This is talking about, um, you know, this couple that goes out on a date great food, great drink, you know, great vibes. They're into each other and the attraction is incredible. And they like, they just want to eat each other up. And so they have sex. They may have sex in the car, out on the beach, <laughs> you know, at the park, like it's insane. Okay. And so spirit is talking about this level of attraction and chemistry. Now, cold turkey, someone may be quitting cold turkey. Someone may be trying to withdraw from something, um, a drug, like, uh, you know, marijuana, popping pills, cocaine, or trying to withdraw from alcohol or smoking or sex, sexing, or having multiple partners or abstaining from drinking from coffee or smoking, something like that. Someone is, has dropped something. Okay. And, and, and I'm not saying it's going to be easy. Again, it, it, it can cause, um, uh, how you say pressure <laughs> to build up. Okay. Um, material girl, Madonna. Okay. Only boys that save their pennies make my rainy day. So there is someone in this picture who, you know, is materialistic. They like nice things. Okay. They like diamonds. They like jewelry. They like, you know, they like nice things. Okay. And, um, they can be driven by this. Okay. Um, and it's for them, it's just a matter of fact, that's just what it is. All right. But spirit is letting you know that this person is materialistic. So, you know, um, or, and, or superficial. Okay. Um, and so the moment that you don't have the potential to carry out materialistic things, or, you know, the moment that you fail at something or you stop doing what this person was attracted to, this person could dump you and leave you for the next person. Okay. So this is what this is spirit is warning you. Okay. And this is not for just people who have Scorpio as sun. This is for people who have Scorpio in their, their, um, the Venus, their moon rising, whatever it is. Okay. Um, in their chart. All right. Um, Never too much, Luther Vandross. I love this song. Whoever wrote this song, genius, okay? Um, you must have known I had feelings deep enough to swim in. A million days in your arms is never too much. Guys, look, someone is open. Someone is open, okay? They can breathe this person in. It's like this person gets intoxicated off of the other person. Okay. In every way, the smell, the taste, the feel, like it's like a whole sensory experience. All right. And so this person doesn't want to stop. They don't want to stop being in this person's embrace. 
Keep in mind, this is a general love reading. Some of it may apply, all of it may apply, or none of it may apply, okay? Um, but someone is really open, okay? The Spirit is saying, girl, have several seats. <laughs> Don't just have one seat, have several, okay? So what is this saying? Spirit is saying, somebody in this love story is doing too damn much, okay? You gotta take a seat. <laughs> Not just one, you gotta take several. So spirit is like, you got to reel it in, okay? Go into your room in peace and quiet. Shut everybody out. You know, have like a, your little blackout date, <laughs> okay? You know, my day is usually, um, I may do it on a weekend. Or one day during the week where I don't answer the phone, no texting, no nothing. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm not on Instagram. I'm not on every on anything, Okay. And so basically spirit is saying, you got to really get in the vibe. You got to go into prayer, into meditation, do your spiritual baths, um, and do all of these things. You know, spirit is telling me the romping shop, <laughs> the romping shop. Okay. All right. Someone's getting it on and popping. I'm, okay. All right. I get it. I, I understand. Okay. But spirit is saying, you know, sex is good. But you also got to collect yourself and, and tap into spirit, okay? Um, got my magic mojo working. Okay, this is the second spell work card. So someone feels like they have succeeded, that they have some kind of pull and connection, or that they have their claws in somebody, okay? They feel like, ah, good, like I'm seeing... The effects. I'm sensing that the effects are working now. Okay. This is this is not just someone standing over a pot. This could be in the form of sex magic, okay? Where, you know, the sex is so powerful that this person can say anything and the person will be like, yes, whatever you want. <laughs> whatever you want, whatever you like. And like in coming to America, the first one, okay, with Eddie Murphy and um um Arsenio Hall. Okay, but anyway, spirit is saying. That someone is working a route. Brujeria, witchcraft, spell work, they're doing something, all right? And for some reason, they feel like it's working, okay? And maybe uh, someone is working something on you, okay? And maybe how you responded to this person is kind of confirming that, that whatever it is they're doing is working, okay? Um, walk on gilded splinters. Now, let me tell you, this is the third spell work card, okay? Back to back, okay? And this is by Dr. John. Dr. John was a huge root worker down south in the United States, okay? Um, and so one of the lines in his, um, in his song, Walk on Gilded Splinters, it talks about putting Grigri on your doorstep. Soon you'll be in the gutter, okay? So this is not nice, okay? This is not nice. So someone has done a work to make someone... Um, to try and make someone fail materially, okay? To make them lose their um, stability and their security, okay? Um, to affect their finances. Spirit is saying, you better watch your back, all right? Because this is the third mojo spell work, brujeria, witchcraft, obra, trabajo, whatever the hell you want to call it, card, okay? So spirit is saying this, you got to watch. And someone may have thrown a work near your house, okay, near the place that you stay. Um, Spirit's also saying you got to watch where you walk, okay, and also to watch walking barefoot, okay, because you can get some, um, like, uh, what do you call it, um, the splinters, um, a glass, some kind of shards in your foot, okay, be very, very careful. My head is tingling with when I say that, all right? Baby, I can't fight this feeling anymore, REO Speedwagon, come crashing through your door, that's a line in that song. Okay. Okay. This was a big song in the 80s. Okay. And so it's like someone has reached the brink. You know, they can't hide their feelings anymore. They can't suppress them. <laughs> they can't smoke their feelings away. They can't drink their feelings away. They can't sex their feelings away with someone. It is on them. Like the monkey is on their back. Okay. And, um, you know, that's where that line says, come crashing through your door. So this person, this could be you feeling this way about someone or someone feeling this way about you, 
but look as as it relates to love so if you have scorpio um in your venus um yeah or sun and scorpio like this is going to be prominent for you okay someone could be driving around your house you know stalking sitting outside uh, watching you trying to bump into you okay guys <clears throat> we're going into mercury retrograde the effects are already there the moon is going to be supercharged supercharged up okay we're we're going into a super moon in the next um in the next day okay and so we're already feeling the effects of this so spirit is saying you got to definitely watch it okay burning the candle at both ends someone is doing too much Okay, doing too much. This also could be an indication of um, spell work again, like candle work. Someone's doing candles, doing prayers, you know, writing people's names, doing some stuff to pull energy. Okay. Um, yeah, this, I mean, this could even possibly be like a reversal candle. You know, someone's trying to, there may be someone. They may feel like someone's throwing stuff at them, so they're reversing it and sending it back, okay? Um, Poltergeist, okay, here we go. So Poltergeist was a big movie back in the 80s, and basically it was about a couple who moved into this, you know, cute little development, housing development. Um, it was perfect. Like, they were so happy to be there. All of a sudden, the, the house started to come apart at the seams. This house and this whole development was built on top of... Um, a Native American burial ground, okay? And, you know, these, the the bodies were disrespected. Um, and and so, you know, this family started experiencing, you know, spiritual phenomena in their house. So spirit is saying that there could be a phenomena that is happening in your place of residence or somewhere around you, okay? A man who does not respect his own mother is absolutely no good, all right? And so this is someone who may have had challenges with their mother and the mothering energy. Um, not to say that they don't love their mother, but maybe their mother did something that kind of challenged their respect for their mother, okay? And so as a result, it may, you know, impact their ability to relate to women or the feminine energies in their life, okay? So this is what spirit is talking about. Um, American Gigolo, okay, here we go. <laughs> spirit is saying, and that was another hot movie, I think it was maybe in the 70s or 80s, but American Gigolo was about, you know, a male prostitute, okay? And he was handsome as I don't know what, okay? And he would like be, he would get with very wealthy women um, and basically turn them out. And he was well taken care of. He was a kept man. So Spirit is saying that there is, um, there is maybe a woman, if you're a man watching this, maybe there's a woman that wants to keep you. Or you could be a man that could be hustling women, okay? For a warm bed, you know, a hot meal, you know, and living in the ever level, level uh, living in the the, um, the lap of luxury, okay? And not really having to do much, but lay it down in the bedroom, okay? Spirit is calling out someone in this story is American Gigolo, okay? They're working their stuff. Um, and one man's trash is another man's treasure. Okay, so, you know, whoever mistreated the other person, you dogged them out, you didn't value them, look, the next person that comes along is going to treat them like solid gold, okay? And don't be mad, <laughs> don't be mad, okay? This is what it is, okay? Now, this was you that was mistreated, someone's going to come along and they're going to value you and it's going to be an amazing relationship, but someone who got treated like garbage, someone's going to sweep them off their feet and it's going to be a beautiful relationship. And sexual healing, Marvin Gaye, okay? Um, open up and let me in. I can't wait for you to operate. Boy, let me tell you, <laughs> the sex is going to be amazing, okay? That's all I got to say. It's the chemistry is going to be phenomenal, all right? That's all I got to say. Um, and Careless, Careless Whisper, George Michael um, and Wham, they, they did the song, Careless Whisper. It's a classic. I'm sure you've heard it. All right. I'm never going to dance again. Guilty feet have got no rhythm. And this is about betrayal. Okay. This is about betrayal. So the song is beautiful, but basically what it is, is he cheated on his, his partner. 
okay, with someone. And he either he either didn't have the courage to confront his partner, but the things between him and his partner were never the same because he violated the love and the relationship, okay? And so he's, you know, he's singing about it and he's feeling it like, you know, we're never gonna be together the same way because I ruined it. I ruined it. I, you know, I fucked it up. Okay. Um, fatal attraction. So yeah, you better watch it. There's a fatal attraction coming on in this story. Okay. And I talk about karmics too. So there could be a karmic who has a ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend that's stalking them. These people could be stalking you and also stalking them and being upset that you are with this person. There's a stalker situation. So you better keep your eyes open and don't piss on my leg and tell me it's raining. Basically, spirit is saying, don't, don't run game on me. Don't run game on me. <laughs> don't, don't run game. I wasn't born yesterday. Spirit is saying that someone is, is, is thinking you are, that you were born yesterday. They, they're making, they're insulting your intellect. Okay. But someone is clearly running game on you and spirit is exposing them and letting you know that someone is running game on someone. Okay, and you better keep your eyes open and not just your physical eyes, your spiritual eyes. And that's why you got to go into your meditation, do your white baths and do all the things you need to do, um, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, to, to make sure everything goes smoothly. And had the time of my life, Bill Medley, um, Jen warns, you're the one that I can't get enough of. This could be love. Okay, so finally, yet again. This person wants to be caught up in someone's embrace. They are in love with this person. What a way to end. Have a great evening. Ciao.